Now, I apologize for that clickbait title. This obviously isn't the best mouse. However, I think if you stick around, you'll find this quite interesting, especially if you use QMK firmware, because not many people know that it has this feature, and that is mouse codes. Basically, what these are are they're key codes that you can use to assign to your board to get full functionality of a mouse. So say if you have a portable keyboard, a little tiny one you like to bring with you, but you don't want to bring a mouse with you, you can have a layer set up where you have full functionality of the mouse. It doesn't work perfect, but it does work, and it will give you mouse functionality without having to carry a mouse. So that said, this is the board here. This is a Scotta mouse. This is a mouse. I thought that was kind of cool. I started like dual 3D printing on my board with dual colors. But basically all this is, is it's just a little shell and we have left, up, down, right, left click, right click. There really isn't much to this build. So I'm just gonna kind of time lapse through it. It's just direct wire. So that means each switch will get a pin on the controller. Very simple to build. And I'll be back in a few moments and we'll talk more about the code that's powering it and take a look at it in action. There it is all assembled. And as you can see, each switch is going to a single pin on the controller. And then they're all tied together with a piece of stripped stranded wire going to ground over this black wire here. So very simple direct wired board. Now what I gotta do is assemble it, but I do wanna mention on the case here is that if you look in here, I had this like lip on the side and that's very useful for boards like this where when they sit in there, there's no support on the edges here. So that way it won't push into the case and it kinda has a lip to sit on, so it's a little bit more sturdy. But I'm just gonna assemble that now, take me a few seconds and then we'll actually start looking at the board and what it can do. So there it is completed. You can kind of see in there, I'm not gonna take it out because they're not glued in and it'll pull the switch right out. But I'm basically using Cherry MX Browns in there because obviously for a joke keyboard like this, I'm gonna use a joke of a switch. So the way this works is we basically have left click, right click, holding both of these at the same time, we'll give you middle click. Then we have move left, move up, move down, move right. And then if you wanna scroll, you can hold the both left and right click and then press either up or down to scroll up or down. Now, I think the best way to kind of show how this works is to give an example. We're gonna take a look here at the QMK mouse keys key codes and we'll just kind of navigate with the board here. So as you can see, if I hold this one and then scroll up because I am on an iPad, it is reversed. So up is actually down and down is up. But if you're on a Windows computer, up will be up and down will be down. But we're gonna just hold these and scroll up and you can see it will actually scroll down on the page. And basically the key codes that I'm using here to work on this is we're using these four primaries here. So MS up, left, down, right, to basically do the main navigation of left, right, up, and down. And then the actual buttons are these three here. So button one, two, and three. So one, two, and then three when you press them both. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll down and navigate with it so you can get an idea of kind of how this stuff works because it's, it's very dumb, but it does work. So we can scroll all the way up here. We can kind of come up top. You can see that it does have acceleration. You can kind of change all these settings. So the faster, you see how fast that kind of starts to move there. But you can change all the stuff within the firmware. There's all these options and stuff. My key map will of course be available down below so you can look at what I'm doing there. But basically we can come here, we can navigate like so. We can scroll down here and we can navigate to say keyboards that we want to. And then we'll look for my keyboards on here really quick. So we'll just scroll right on down as I hold these. It just scrolls right like you'd expect. And I'm looking for the handwire directory, which is somewhere in here, right there. So we can click that. We can scroll down again. Then we can go to J Scotto. So right here we have J Scotto. And then these are my keyboards in the QMK repo, which is will change eventually in here. This is side note to everything else. But you can kind of get an idea that you do a lot of like tapping like this to kind of fine tune or big movements to kind of get in the general vicinity of where you want. So like I kind of get over here click that. And then if I want to like select something individual, I kind of tap a bunch like that. But that's really all there is to this thing here. It's pretty stupid. Honestly, it's just a crazy idea I had when I got a commission. I was like, hey, that'd make a pretty cool idea of a keyboard. But also you could just use this as a macro pad. Like you could just use this to sit there and do a macro pad thing if you wanted. You don't need to build this as a mouse board. You don't need to do the Scotto mouse. You could just do a macro pad with it. But having said that, I do want to mention that this is the dumb idea. I do have some cooler things coming out very soon, such as my first PCB, and then also another hand-wired board. With that said though, this board will be available on my website. Obviously the files will be available for free if you want to build it yourself, but if you don't want to print it or don't have a printer that's tuned well enough, I can print one for you and ship it out to you. That's available down below too. Um, but other than that, if you did enjoy this, like, comment, subscribe, do those things on the video. 
And I will see you guys very soon because there's a lot of content coming out very soon in regards to PCBs, hand-wired builds, probably another configurator video. I've been teasing the KMK configurator for a while. There's a lot of stuff coming out, so that kind of explains my absence for the last month. But anyway, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.